The tricky process of redistricting is getting underway on Utah's Capitol Hill. It's a very important thing because it draws boundaries for who represents you. And it determines a lot of policies, from taxes to potholes. Fox 13's Ben Winslow reports from On the Hill. There are two different groups drawing redistricting maps. There's the Independent Redistricting Commission that voters approved when they passed Proposition 4. But this story involves the legislature's redistricting committee. They can look at anyone's maps, but the legislature has the final say. So I've got five plans here. At the meeting of the legislature's redistricting committee, Stuart Hepworth came prepared with his own maps. I'm hopeful that uh, the public will be able to bring maps uh, that the legislature will adopt maps proposed by the public, like the, these that prioritize keeping communities of interest together. The committee got the latest data from the 2020 census, and there were surprises. For example, this map shows where Utah's population has shifted, and what the committee was told is there's been declines in places like Weber, Davis, and the north end of Salt Lake County. But the growth is in southern Salt Lake, Utah, and Washington counties. My area looked like it shrunk a little bit, and I'm not surprised. You know, at one time, the district I represent used to be the place where people come to for affordable housing and to start, for starter homes. But what I've been hearing from a lot of individuals is that they're no longer able to afford to live in my district. And so as a result, they are moving out. That's going to impact the political boundaries. The committee is tasked with drawing lines for Congress, school board, and legislature, and the districts have to have a pretty equal population. But as we start doing maps and that ripple effect's going to have a lot to say, even in northern Utah, what happens just because of that Salt Lake, uh, Utah County area. For Congress, that means the 4th Congressional District now has too many people. The area where the 3rd is doesn't have enough. Here's what it looks like if you take that formula and apply it to the legislature. In the Senate, Western Utah County and Washington County look to make the biggest gains in seats. In the House, a lot of rural areas could see some boundaries shifting, while Utah County again picks up seats. This is going to be a daunting task. Now the hard work begins, and they want you, the public, to draw some maps. People draw maps and bring those to our outreach sessions and explain why they drew that map that way. But if you want to draw a map, you've got to draw one for the entire state. You can't just draw your own district and call it good. We've got information on upcoming meetings as well as links to the map making software for you to see. Check it out at fox13now.com. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.